This is no calculator question number five from the May 2019 USSAT. College Board gives us a diagram with intersecting lines and they ask which statement would imply that L and K are parallel where this diagram is not necessarily to scale. Choice A is W equals Y where angle W is here, angle Y is here. These angles are always equal so that is not going to prove that L and K are parallel. W equals Z, I'll come back to that. X equals Z. If X equals Z, let's redraw it. Redraw their diagram like this where this is x and this is z. Even if x equals z, that is not sufficient to prove that they're parallel, but choice c is wrong. In choice d, x plus y equals 180, but x and y are supplementary at angles, so the sum is always 180. In this case, x and y are also add up to 180, but that doesn't mean that these are parallel. So choice d is not sufficient. By the process of elimination, I know that b must be proof that L and K are parallel. Let's see why. Since W equals Y, if W equals Z, then Y equals Z, and if Y equals Z, that does prove that L and K are parallel. So choice B would be the correct answer. Frequently, College Board asks you to go the reverse direction. They'll tell you the lines are parallel and ask which angles are equal. In this case, they twisted the problem a little bit, which they do like to do. It's helpful to review your geometry rules. Vertical angles, W and Y, are always equal. If lines L and K are parallel, then Y and Z will be equal. And two adjacent angles that add up to a straight angle add up to 180 degrees. And of course, they often test angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more. As a side note, my students draw the logos for the colleges and this is a chance for me to share where they're going. Good luck to the class of 2019. It's been great.